So I'm gonna show you how to make the best basic beans, and then I'll show you how to spin them into two different kinds, Cajun and Tex-Mex. Your bean life will never be the same. So I added a pound of beans to the pot. I soaked them for about three hours, and then I rinsed them really well. I'm gonna add some cut up bacon. Now I've got a big load of finely diced onion. That was a lot, but it's a lot of beans. And I'm also gonna add a whole bunch of minced garlic. And then bay leaves are another secret. I just add two to the pot. They just add a little something something without being overpowering. And then I'm gonna add a good tablespoon of kosher salt and two teaspoons of black pepper. That's always a good start, and then you can taste the beans later and see if it needs more. The pot just needs water, so you just wanna add enough to cover the beans by about an inch. Again, you can always add a little bit more water later, but if you add too much, the beans will be too thin. All right, now I'm gonna turn on the heat, and I'm gonna bring this pot to a boil. Yep, they're bubbling away. Now this is the basic recipe, and it'll never steer you wrong but I'm gonna give you two other directions you can take. I know you're gonna love them both. First, Cajun beans. You do everything exactly the same as the basic beans up to the seasoning. Then add six ounces of diced andouille sausage, two teaspoons of paprika, a teaspoon of ground thyme, and a teaspoon of crushed chili flakes. Cover it with water, give it a mix, bring the beans to a boil, then reduce the heat, and simmer them for about three hours with the lid half on. And here's the second idea to ramp up the basic beans. You could do a Tex-Mex version. Make the basic beans mix, then add a cup of jarred jalapenos with their juice, a tablespoon of chili powder, some hot sauce, then cover them with water, and cook them for three hours or so, again, with the lid on halfway. So there you go, Officer Birch. Now, this basic version still has a ways to go, so rather than wait around, let me tell you how I serve up the three versions. First, the best basic beans. When the time's up, the liquid should be thick and the beans tender. I like to garnish them with grated cheddar and some diced onion. Simple and delicious. Second, the Cajun beans. These look so good. And they need nothing more than a sprinkle of sliced green onions. Then third, the Tex-Mex beans, an unbeatable bowl of spiciness and so fabulous with the fixins. Guacamole, salsa, and a dollop of sour cream. Beans, beans, and more beans, all delicious.